The new Instagram update is hollow. Hello everyone, it's me Christine. And as you may already know, we did it! We reached 1 million holosexuals on Instagram. And to celebrate, I did these Instagram nails. Oh, and we're also having this minor giveaway, just a small giveaway. The giveaway is being hosted on Instagram, but you can go watch my giveaway video on YouTube to see what you can win. This giveaway ends on April 24th, so if you're watching after that, don't worry, you might be able to unlock the next giveaway. Anyways, in my giveaway video, if you have superior hollow identification abilities, you may have noticed that I was sporting some holographic Instagram nails. So so let me show you how I did these nails because everyone wants to put the Instagram logo on their nails. I'm starting off with a peel off base coat because obviously I need to be able to peel off this milestone so I can save it. So now I'm applying a black polish which is nothing to do with the Instagram nails that you just saw. I actually did a whole bunch of crap on my nails because I had an idea to make some things with foil but it didn't work out at all. But as you guys know, I like to show you my fails. So that pink shit was some liquid latex from Bundle Monster. Then I added some foil glue, then some hollow gold foil. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, oh my god. <laughs> See now this is where I thought I was extremely clever by drawing the number one with liquid latex. You couldn't really tell it's the number one. I also drew the letter M on my other nail for million, like one million, one M, you know, letters, words, numbers. And that was just a complete disaster. I don't know what happened there. I don't think foil glue agrees with liquid latex. Just put it that way. I tried to save the messy outlines by adding a pink foil. But yeah, that didn't work either. What the hell is this? I'm not sure. But that gold hollow foil sure has potential. I'll have to use it again sometime. So I peeled it all off because I was not satisfied. This is not the way to celebrate one million holosexuals. And we gotta start over. Peel off base coat. Then we're gonna make the background of the Instagram logo, which is supposed to be a boring beige, but we're gonna make it hollow. I'm using this beautiful nude champagne hollow that is sure to convert Instagram to hollow sexuality. Like honestly, who chooses a plain, boring, creamy beige as the main color in their logo? Why would you ever do that? It is so boring. But even beige isn't boring when it's hollow. Add a quick dry taco because you're getting hungry. Oh yeah, linear hollow comes to life under the light. I love you so much. The reason why you just added a quick dry top coat because I should probably explain things to you is because we're gonna be adding acrylic paint next. And acrylic paint is easiest to apply over top of a top coat that has dried so that you can scratch it off if you fuck up. Oh guys, help me, I'm distracted. I can't get away from the hollow. Look at all the rainbows, it's so pretty. <laughs> so next you're gonna take a brush that paints. I'm using the double zero one from Twinkle T. Then you're gonna paint some brown acrylic paint on the tip of your nail, just the tip. Nail videos are so easy to make tip jokes in. Let it dry in between coats because you're gonna need to apply two or three coats of this paint to make it look opaque and like you just dipped the tip of your nails in a pile of shit. Perfect Instagram, your logo is so attractive. Next, I'm taking a much skinnier nail art brush and mixing a little bit of black acrylic paint with some white because we're gonna paint the outer ring of the lens. Now, this is why I never do freehand because do you see how my hand is shaking? I'm literally having a panic attack right now. The filling in the circle part is not as stressful, so that's a nice break. And I don't know, is that a circle? Is that a circle, guys? Does it look like a circle to you? It's kind of uneven, actually. Maybe I should make it bigger and even it out. I don't know, this could be a terrible decision, Christine. Why do you do this to yourself? You always make it worse. Now the lens is much bigger than I originally intended. In between colors, you can just rinse off your brush with water. That's one of the reasons why I like using acrylic paint when you're doing tiny details like this, which I rarely do anyways, because it also requires a lot of talent. The other reason why I prefer to use acrylic paint instead of nail polish when painting tiny things like this is because then the tiny elves are on my side. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, really though. It's because acrylic paint is a lot thinner and therefore smoother and that makes it just easier to apply because nail polish can get a little bit goopy. And you can't scratch off nail polish like this, can you? It's the toothpick trick. Does anyone remember that from one of my super early old videos? Use a toothpick to erase all your mistakes and shape whatever mess you just drew into something that makes sense. So next I'm gonna take a little bit of black polish. Black, po no, no, it's not polish, it's acrylic paint. <laughs> Christine, stop it, you're confusing the people. Mix the black acrylic paint with some brown acrylic paint because we're gonna make a slightly lighter part of the lens, if that makes sense. <laughs> acrylic paint dries so matte. Weird. Now I gotta make the little white reflection thingies in the lens so that it looks like a lens, except I'm very nervous doing this part. This is what's going through my head. Oh, don't touch it. Barely touch it. Oh, I'm shaking. Don't fuck it up, please. Okay, we did good. Now stop touching it. And now it's time for Instagram's half-ass attempt at a rainbow. So we got blue, green, yellow, and red. My nails are so curved, which makes this very hard. If you're new here, I say this in almost every video. This is a C curve. It's when your nails look like a C. The C stands for Christine, of course. To counteract the curviness of my nail, I just made the red stripe a little thicker because you're not going to see like half of it. Then we add the yellow stripe and then the green stripe and then the blue stripe. Yes, I am still experiencing much freehand stress. I can't take it. I hate it. Should have used nail vinyls. Now we got to paint that weird thing that sits under the rainbow. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I think the word insta is supposed to be written under there but there is no way in hell I'm going to paint that all right on to my other nail now I'm trying to make orange because that is the color of Instagram notifications except for some reason red and yellow don't want to make orange like what is this this looks like salmon color the color theory principles I learned in grade 3 are not working I suppose I could just use orange nail polish but painting with acrylic paint is so much easier so we'll just have to do with this ugly muddy color color orange. <laughs> So I'm just painting the rounded rectangle notification box thingy, except I'm painting it vertically as opposed to horizontally because there's no way it could fit on my nail the other way around. Add a couple coats of that nasty color orange. And now I'm gonna try and paint follower icon and then one M. Everyone, hold your breath. Hold your breath right now. <laughs> What is that? It's not the cleanest of lines, but it works, okay? And now just do a little shake, do a little dance while you're painting on the one. <laughs> Some people find freehand painting relaxing or stress relieving. I don't. I find it extremely stressful. And it makes me want to break down into tears. I'm always worried I'm just gonna f everything up with one stroke. Will the toothpick fix my mistakes? No, not really, because you can't scratch acrylic paint off of acrylic paint. <laughs> okay, whatever, I'm moving on. I'm gonna paint the little quotation thingy at the bottom of the notification bubble. And we're done! Whew! It only took me five hours of stress! And now we must protect the Insta piece by adding a nice thick coat of glossy taco. If your fingers can't function anymore and you get the top coat all over your skin, simply take an orange stick and wipe it away. Add the glossy tacos on all your nails. Clean up the glossy taco from all your nails. Nails. Now you see how after the glossy taco dries, it's a little bit bumpy. Acrylic paint always does that. I don't know why. So whenever you do use acrylic paint, make sure to add two thick coats of glossy tacos. So basically you need two tacos to seal in your design and give a beautiful shine. <laughs> JK, JK, I'm JK. Look, it's my Instagram nails with my Instagram. Except I filmed this before I hit 1 million. <laughs> what do you think, I work that fast? No. I get the impression that not everyone even knows that I have an Instagram account, but the truth is I started my nail stuff on Instagram. So if you're only watching me on YouTube and not following me on Instagram, you should definitely go follow me on Instagram. That's where my sassiness first started out. I mean, it started out in Instagram captions and then it came to YouTube later. Also, some people seem to be concerned that people are impersonating me on Instagram. These are all the accounts I own. I also run Simply Not Logical, which is a feature account where I post other people's videos and you can use the hashtag Simply Not Logical for a chance to be featured. And Menchie the Cat, that's my daughter. She posts herself. And Xyler the Cat, that's my son. He is a cynical prick sometimes. And I hope you guys enjoy these Instagram nails. Obviously you don't have to write one M in there. You can write whatever you want. Oh hey, we forgot to do 
what's on my other hand? You guys think I forgot, didn't you? Oh, of course not. I didn't. I'm wearing this gorgeous purple vibrant hollow that is one of the polishes up for grabs in my giveaway. This is probably the sexiest linear hollow ever because the color is so bright. It's brighter than my future. All right, guys, another huge thank you to everyone who supports me and all the crazy shit I like to do on this channel and on my Instagram. There would be no Simply Nailogical if there was no you and no hollow sexuals. We cannot survive without the masses. Another giveaway may or may not be unlocked at 1 million YouTube hollow sexuals. So if you're not subscribed to my channel, then what are you waiting for? Because you gotta help the people unlock the giveaway. It's a team effort. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!